Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is going to be my April favorite. So this is going to be all the products that I loved in the month of April. April was a pretty decent beauty month for me. So I'm really excited to show you the products that I've been loving. I have foundation, highlighters, eyeshadows, a little bit of skincare. So we're just going to... The first favorite I have, I'm not even... I'm not sure if I put this in a previous favorites. Um... But this is the Boots. It's called Boots. The brand is called Boots Expert Sensitive Cleansing and Toning Wipes. And this is what it looks like. This brand is sold at my Walgreens. But I think, I feel like I saw this in like Bloomingdale's. I totally forget. But these are the cleansing wipes. I absolutely love these. I These are my go-to makeup wipes at the moment. Because they don't, they're not super, super wet but they get everything off with the breeze when you first use it you're gonna be like wow there's not a lot of products on here but as you get to like wiping it along the skin it gets everything off like with the breeze um these are like five dollars the neutrogena ones are like eight dollars so you do save a bit of money um I got, as i said i got this from walgreens and i absolutely love these makeup wipes these are my go-to makeup wipes to get off my makeup it gets off eyeliner like a snap it gets off liquid lipstick super easy um been loving these for the past two months so i i don't remember what i put it in my last favorites but i've been loving these makeup wipes and i will leave everything i mentioned listed down below but i've been absolutely loving these makeup wipes so if you happen to pass them by and your local walgreens or the way read i do recommend you pick them up since we're in the area of the face, my next favorite is a face cleanser. This is the first A Beauty Fab Pure Skin Facial Cleanser. Um, I love this because it is fragrance free, which a lot of brands don't do. I got this as a little set with my 500 points from my VIB Rouge at Sephora. It's fragrance, fragrance free. It doesn't dry out my skin. I'm really being on, big on skincare lately. And I absolutely love this face cleanser. It's like a little, um, not foamy, but it's a little foamy. And you only need a little bit. Like this, I've had this little tube for like almost a month now. And I'm still not done with it. And I get in there and I clean my entire face. My face feels so soft afterwards and just really really nice it gets everything off all the dirt dead skin everything i absolutely love this facial cleanser and i am going to go pick up the bigger uh tube i am going to do a skincare video because like i said i've been really into skincare lately so i do have a lot of skincare that i've been trying out testing out so i'm going to do a skincare video but i've been loving this for skincare i've also been lo loving the clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion i've been absolutely loving this stuff I put it on after another moisturizer I'm about to show you, but I put this on my skin all the way until the morning. Feels so supple, nice, soft. Uh, my skin is getting a lot better, and you'll find out why in my skincare video. But this is my go-to moisturizer. I got this one as a sample. Um, this is a sample size that I got with my Sephora points. I ended up going out and buying the bigger bottle, but. I'm going to finish this one before I open that one. But I've been loving this. I use it almost every day. Like, I love this moisturizer. It's so, so good. For the summertime, when it gets a little bit warmer, I am going to switch over to the gel formula of this because I was told that it will help better with my oil control. But for right now, when the weather is really mild or, you know, the way it is now, it's pretty mild. This has been just doing it for me. I love, 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 love this moisturizer. The next moisturizer I'm going to show you is from a brand called Curology, and I did get the idea. I forget her name on YouTube. Please forgive me, but I forget her name on YouTube. I will find her video and leave a listed link down below. Um, she's a big YouTuber. I just can't think of her name right now. It's like makeup lover. I forget. But I did. I did go and pick up my 30-day free trial of Curology, and it works. I'm going to if it's in a favorite video, of course it works. I posted this on one of my social medias and a few people were asking me if it works. And I said yes, but I haven't gone really in depth with it because I want to do a whole video on Curology. So really stay tuned for that. But I will leave the Curology website link down below and the, the girl that I found out about it from her video. So they can get, so you can get more information from there. But as for me, it has been working. I love it. I 
wash my face then um i'm going with this i just let it soak in for a few minutes maybe i leave it on there for like five five or six minutes and then i go in with my clinique moisturizer and my skin is looking so 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 much better but as i said i'm going to do a full-on skincare video so i'm not going to go too in depth with it right now but when that video comes out you'll be able to see but i've been loving my curology uh subscription for the past two months love 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 the next we're still on the face the next favorite is a foundation this is the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer i love this for one i love the applicator like i love it i just put some on my face and blend it in with the beauty blender this foundation is medium to full coverage i got it from sephora and i'm in the shade i think this is the dark 28 clove I think this is the darkest shade they have. This is my shade, and I absolutely love this foundation. It's full coverage. It leaves my scent, it leaves my skin looking glowy but not dewy. I can't really do the whole dewy look because I do have oily to dry skin. So I'm oily all in here, but on the out, outer parts and like a little bit up here, I get, especially down here, I get really dry. But everywhere else, I'm pretty oily, so I really can't do the dewy look. But I love the foundation because it gives me like a glow that when I get more oily throughout the day, it doesn't really enhance that glow. If you get if, if you get what I'm saying, it gives me the, the the proper amount of glow so that when I get more oily, I may look a little dewy, but I don't look like oh wow she needs to blot, you know. So been loving this and it's like 27 bucks so i love this foundation the next favorites are going to be brushes the next is the juvia's place j105 contour brush and that's what it looks like it's dirty because i use it today to contour a little bit my contour is not looking on fleek right now but whatever like anyway so i love this because of how big it is here and it's super fluffy and it actually it's really soft and fluffy I do have a morphe brush that's just uh, that that is this shape but it's a lot a lot thinner and it is really really dense so I just use that one for contour my nose because that one when I contour my cheeks it gives me this really harsh line that I have to go in with another brush to really blend it out with this brush I can get in there and create that line but also because it's so big and fluffy here I can also blend it out if I need it to which I do but I also need to just see I kind of just clean that up a little bit but anyway I can go in and blend it out when needed I got this with the Juvia's Plays five piece brush set which I'm really really loving that brush set I put it on my snapchat make sure you follow me on my social media all my social media usernames are linked down below because I put a lot of stuff on my YouTube social media but um, I showed everyone when I got this uh, brush set and I really have been enjoying this contour brush to contour with. Like I said, it's just like the, it's just like the Morphe one, but not as dense and not as small. So you could probably use the Morphe one to contour your nose like I do and use this one for like the cheeks and um, along the hairline and everywhere else. But I've been absolutely loving that this is all I've been using for contouring lately. The next brush is a Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M501 brush. It's like a long taper blending brush, but I use it for a highlighting. You can use it for setting under the eyes. You can use it for a highlighting. Um, yeah, I've been loving it for highlighting um, the high points of my cheeks. Um, and it was like super cheap. It's from Morphe, so I've absolutely been loving this for highlighting. The next favorite is an eyeliner, and this is the Sephora um, 01 Black High Precision Liner. I use it as my eyeliner today. I use it as my eyeliner in my um, Promise by tutorial video, and I love how small the little point is, and it really helps you get really precise when you're doing like a freehand winged eyeliner and they also have one that's black but that has like glitter in it but this is the matte black one and it's long wearing it doesn't like move or fade it just stays put stays jet black all day i absolutely love it i think it was like 12 or 14 dollars so it's really a really really great eyeliner then 
the next favorite are some licks lick lipsticks these are the ColourPop ultra what are they called now the ultra ultra satin lip um i love these i have on echo park right now um the shade echo park with the brown lip liner here i have the shade mess around and the shade two lips i did order about six of these i have about three more but these are the shades i've been really loving especially tulips and mess around like for darker skin these are so gorgeous like oh my goodness this is so gorgeous this first one is mess around this one is tulips mess around is like a gray tone not gray i'm sorry like a like a yeah like it's like a bit of a it's like a nude but it's more brown with a tint of gray and tulips is so gorgeous it's like a plum brown like it's so so pretty i guess i have an echo park right now it's more of a coral shade these are long with super long wearing when they do fade they fade away very nicely um they are really comfortable like i said super long wearing super opaque you would have thought this was a liquid lipstick just a lot more comfortable not drying super comfortable I love these. If you follow me on social media, you know that I'm not a big fan of the ColourPop Ultra Matte. Ultra Matte. Um, liquid lipsticks, I don't buy those anymore. But these, I'm a big, 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 big fan of. Um, so, yeah, these shades are absolutely gorgeous. The next favorites are some highlighters. Well, one is technically a highlighter. One is technically kind of not. Eh, anyway. So the first highlighter I want to talk about is the one that I have on my cheeks right now. You know what I'm saying? And this is the Urban Decay Afterglow, Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I heard that this was coming out, but I hadn't seen it in person. And then, well, I, didn't, I heard they were coming out, but I hadn't seen any of the shades, like, in pictures or anything. I don't know why. I don't know if I missed it, but whatever. And I went to Sephora, just one of those random Sephora trips you do. And I saw this along with the two other shades, and I picked up this one because it's like a really nice champagne shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. As I said, I have it on the high points on my cheeks today, and I absolutely love it. I love, love, love. And this is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in Sin. I have worn it, and it doesn't fade, it just stays vibrant all day. Love, love, love. The next favorite is like kind of a highlighter, kind of not. But anyway, this is the Sonya Kashuk Chic Illuminating Bronzer Highlighter Duo. Now, this is what it looks like. This side is meant to be a bronzer and this side a highlighter. I use both as highlighters. That bronzing side, look at that bronzing side. Look how gorgeous that is. I use this as a highlighter. Look at that. Look at that. And then the highlighting side looks like that. These are so beautiful. So, oops, I just like blending them in together. But that's the highlighting side. Let me do that again. Yeah. This is the highlighting side, and that's the bronzing side. I use them both as, um, highlighters and as you can probably guess that bronzing side on me looks absolutely gorgeous it's a beautiful beautiful bronzy gold and the highlighting side is like more of a peachy toned it's so so gorgeous i picked this up from target it's absolutely beautiful like i said i use both sides as highlighters if you are of more of a fair skin tone if you are more of a fair skin tone, you can use the bronzing side to give you a nice, like, for the summertime, a nice bronzy glow. But for medium to tan, even deeper skin tones, this duo as, like, two highlighters is amazing. I use it all, 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 all the time. So, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, just, just gorgeous. The next favorites are some eyeshadow palettes. I actually have three. So the first one is the Makeup Geek Mini MUA palette. I ordered this as a as a pre-order and got it literally like a month later. But it was so worth the wait. And this if you if you've seen it, you know what the packaging looks like. I love this palette. I use some of the shades from here on my eyes today. I use Frappe and Aphrodite. Aphrodite, whatever. 
I use these two shades on my eyes today. I have this in my crease. And this is my transition. But this palette is so, so gorgeous and so, so pigmented. Like Manny and Makeup Geek outdid themselves with this palette. I'm, it was so worth the wait. So glad I got it. It's the, it's the regular size as normal Makeup Geek shadows, which I was worried about that. I was really hoping it was the same size, but I'm so glad that it is. I absolutely love this palette. I love the packaging. Like, so, so pretty. So, I love, love, love this palette. The next palette, before I show you, I am, I did use a, a shade from this palette on my lid and one in my crease. I am going to do another tutorial with this palette. This palette was used in my Prom Inspired tutorial. I am gonna do a pal a tutorial just strictly using this palette just for, just for more of like a reference. And because I love it so much, and this is a Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I love the smell, I love the shades. People were saying like, some of the shades don't make sense, like the pops of greens and purples. I absolutely love that it has those shades in it. I'm kind of glad it's not a straight peachy pink palette because then I probably wouldn't like it as much. But I love it. My favorite shade is Puree. No. My favorite shade is Summer Yum and Puree and Luscious. I've used all three today. I have trying to pull out this palette. I'm going to use all three of those shades. I'm using at least one of them. And again, it's uh, Puree, Summer Yum, and Luscious. I love those shades. Um, I love this palette. Like I said, I'm pretty glad. I'm so glad it's not a straight on peachy pink peachy pink palette because I really wouldn't like I know I wouldn't like it as much but I absolutely love this palette it is a limited edition as well as the Makeup Geek Mini MUA palette I don't even know if you can still get that palette but this one every time it comes in stock it sells out so I would say try your best to get notified when it comes back in stock if it is not already and then you can pick it up okay guys so my last favorite for the month of April is another eyeshadow palette. It, it is my Makeup Geek Shadows and my Customized Z palette. I these are If you follow me on social media like Instagram and Snapchat, you know that this is my first set of Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I ordered all these at once along with the Slim Edition Z palette which I also love. I actually have two of these Z palettes. Um, but the other one is like basically empty. But... I absolutely love these shadows. I've been loving uh, Latte. I think this is called Latte. Yes, I've been loving Latte. I've been loving this purple. Oh my goodness. I think it's called Curfew. Yes, I've been loving Curfew. These shades are so pigmented. I really, really do love these. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I have a video, a short video of me actually putting this palette together. I absolutely love my makeup these eyeshadows. Um, so glad I finally hopped on that bandwagon. Love, love, love. If you want a video on these with swatches, just let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, everyone, that was my favorites for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, don't forget to follow me on social media. And down below is also the link to my Facebook page. If you all just please go and like my Facebook page on Facebook. That would be great. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to always ask me. If you have any questions about any of the products, let me know. They will all be listed down below. And I will see you all in the next video.